Hello everyone. Welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today we are going to read the story Rita Tikitawi, which is about a mongoose who saved a family of three. Let's begin, shall we? It rained heavily all night. The sunlight was a little pale. Teddy, a young boy of ten, ran out into the garden. He saw a mongoose lying wet and still on the grass. Here's a dead mongoose! Teddy called out to his mother. Let's bury him! No! said Teddy's mother. His heart is beating faintly. Perhaps he will live. Let's take him inside and dry him. Teddy's father wrapped him up in an old wood woolen muffler and placed him near the fire. The mongoose sneezed. Teddy and his parents were delighted. They gave him some meat and then took him outside. He sat in the sunlight and shook his fur till it was quite dry. He then shook his long fluffy tail till it looked like bottle brush. Soon he started taking interest in Teddy and things around him. He followed Teddy around the house and into the garden. He slept in Teddy's room at night. In the mornings, he came for breakfast, sitting on Teddy's shoulder. Teddy gave him a banana and a boiled egg. The mongoose enjoyed the breakfast. Soon, Teddy and the little mongoose became good friends. The mongoose ran through the tall grass, crying, rick dick 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 Teddy used to laugh at him and started calling him, Ricky Tiki Tawi. One morning, Ricky Tiki was wandering about in the garden. There he saw Nak, the big cobra, and his wife Nagina. Cobras and mongooses are age-old enemies. Although Ricky Tiki was young, he knew that the main objective of a mongoose's life is to fight and kill snakes. Nag also knew that a mongoose in the garden mean, meant death for him and his family. He was a full-grown snake and measured five feet from the tip of his tongue to the end of his tail. Rikitiki was still a baby. He told himself, I won't fight Nag and Nagina when they are together. So he jumped up high in the air and ran away. It was night. Teddy carried Ricky to bed. As soon as the boy was asleep, Ricky went off for his nightly walk round the house. Suddenly, the silence was disturbed by a faint noise. It came from the bathroom of Teddy's parents. Ricky Tiki quickly entered the bathroom. He could hear Nag and Nagina talking on the other side of the bathroom drain. Nagina told her husband, Bite and kill all three people in the house. The mongoose will go away when there is no one left in the house. We will then have the garden to ourselves. Then Ricky Tiki so Nag slithering slithering into the bathroom through the drain. Although Rikitiki was very angry, he was also a little scared. Nag was so big and poisonous. Nag waited for Teddy's parents to come to the bathroom. He knew he would come at midnight, so he called himself up till he looked like a long rope arranged in the shape of a circle. Then, Nag went to sleep. Rikitiki hid behind the door and watched Nag. When Nag was fast asleep, 
Ricky Dicky jumped onto his head and dug his teeth into the snake's flesh. Nag was furious. He threw his head from side to side, and poor Ricky Dicky was thrown against the wall again and again. He was hurt and bleeding, but he did not let go his hold of Nag's head. During the struggle, Nag's tail upset the mug and soapdish. They fell to the ground with a loud thud. Ricky Dicky thought he was going to die. Suddenly, the wild duel stopped. Nag's head dropped down and did not stir thereafter. Teddy's father, who had entered the bathroom, hearing the loud thud, had killed him. He picked up the bleeding Ricky Dicky and went back to his bedroom. He asked his wife to put some medicine on Ricky's wounds. I killed the snake, he said, but it's Ricky Dicky who has saved our lives. Teddy's mother washed Ricky's wounds with medicine. She patted his little sore head and gave him some toffees. Ricky Dicky was happy. He fluffed up his tail and ran off to Teddy's room. And that's the end of the story, written by Rudyard Kipling. We hope you found it interesting. For more useful videos, please subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios. We have uploaded many stories here at Brain Blitz Audios. Some of the links are given in the description down below. Please do visit the links and enjoy more stories. See you soon. Bye-bye.